All right, so we just got done talking about uh, the introduction to action uh, or the action portion in The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And in this video, we are going to conquer the first strategy of action, and that is called the discipline of action. So how do you handle being dealt a bad hand, right? It's never fun. It's never convenient. Losing, for example, is, uh, is never a fun hand to be dealt. Do we run away from the repercussions of failure and being dealt a bad hand, or do we run at it, hypothetically speaking, maybe even literal, if it is a literal threat? When the chips of life seemingly stack against you, how do you respond? When many negative events, let's say, are happening one after another, how do you mentally pause to be able to collect yourself to then go out and attack? So we'll turn to the book here a little bit. Okay. We may be able to articulate a problem, even potential solutions, but then weeks, months, sometimes years later, the problem is still there or it's gotten worse. As though we expect someone else to handle it, as though we honestly believe that there is a chance of the obstacle unobstacling itself. Um, <clears throat> I like the phrasing there. So we, we may even know it, we may articulate it, and we may even have solutions to things that are within the obstacle that we need to face. And yet we still tend to kick things down the road, unfortunately. And then what do we do about it? We go out and party, or we treat ourselves, or we sleep in, or we wait, we procrastinate, really anything but actually moving towards the obstacle. It feels better to ignore and pretend but you know deep down that it isn't going to make it truly any better. You've got to act and you've got to start right now. We forget in life, it doesn't matter what happens to you or where you came from. It does, or it matters uh, what you do with what you have and what you've been given. And the only way you'll do something spectacular is by using it all to your advantage. So very heavy statement there, but I think it's a good one to be able to essentially stack up everything that's happened against you and say, you know what? Um, fuck that. I'm going to come out and I'm going to come out swinging and I'm going to say, you know, all you people can doubt me and I'm going to still respond in a favorable light. I had written down here, taking a mental inventory of all the negative things and people that they've said about you, using this to gear up and to fight through with action and, and with action and through action. So I don't know if you guys have ever done this. There's been a handful of other books that I have read that have proposed this. Um, and that is to really take inventory of all the naysayers in your life, all the people that have wronged you, all the people that have said you're not good enough or that you're a problem child or whatever the case is, and really just stack it up and say, you know what? I have a choice here. I can either allow what they're saying about me to be the true fact, or I can turn right around and say, fuck that. I'm going to bury these people in the ground because i that's who I am. I'm a fighter and, and I'm prepared for action. So that's one way to perceive it. Um, and here's kind of the back half of this piece. Not very long, but a good one. So we don't have the luxury sometimes of running away, of hiding, because we have something very specific we're trying to do. We have an obstacle we have to lean into and transform. Again, not fun or easy, but simple. No one is coming to save you. And if we'd like to go where we claim we want to go to accomplish what we want to accomplish for our goals, there's only one way. And that is to meet our problems with the right action. Therefore, can we always and only greet our obstacles with energy, persistence, a coherent and deliberate process, an iteration and resilience, a strategic vision with craftiness and savvy, and an eye for opportunity at pivotal moments. If this all rings true for you, are you ready to get to work? What a really nice thing to freaking level out there. But to wrap up this, one thing I really do want to hammer on and I really love this message because I think it's very important is that truthfully, no one is going to come save you. And it's not supposed to be negative though. It comes off that way, but what it really isn't in inflicting is that it's only you that matters for you to pick your own self back up. 
So that's going to be hard, especially if you've never had any mentorship or coaching from someone that can get you motivated. Um, former athletes may know that maybe a little bit better than than others because we they've had coaches and whatnot. But if you're someone that you know you're just looking for a little bit of uh, some optimism in life and, and maybe you're not in a great spot and and it's just you know you keep maybe using excuses. I've been there, um, you know, and and really at the end of the day, what it comes down to is looking yourself in the mirror and saying, okay. I may not have all the answers, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I am the one who comes and saves me. And because of that, it really gives you all the the power and the uh, self-respect to dig yourself out of a dark place. Um, so I share all that tangent just to say that uh, sometimes you really do need to understand that there isn't anybody that is coming to save you. And in addition to that, there shouldn't be anyone. It's you. You have to go pick up you from the, the ground if you need to and with some good solid bootstraps. So fun one to crack into as far as the first strategy in action, the discipline of action. Um, Let's stop here and reflect a little bit, and then let's move on to the next chapter. Thanks for reading along, guys.